Is there a little one in your dollhouse? Well, maybe Mom would like to have a little Moses basket so she can take the baby out for a nap whenever they're out doing things. This is a super fun, super easy project to make, and it looks like you've gone to a lot of work. So join me and see how easy this is to make. The first step in making our little Moses basket for our baby doll is to find a suitable mold. I'm using a shampoo bottle. Uh, you want something that's about this size. Let's see, this is, how big is this? This is, uh, it's about three inches the long way and about an inch and a half across. And that's going to be fine. That will work for this. Our basket is going to be made out of needlepoint canvas. Um, the size isn't particularly important as long as it's about a size 10 to a 14, meaning between 10 and 14 holes per inch, gives a pretty good size for our, um, our Moses basket. Um, and this stuff is pretty stiff. I like the natural color, but you can paint this when the basket is done. You could always paint it with craft paint if you want a different color. Um, it's up to you. Sometimes these are white or pink or blue in real life. So because this is stiff, we need to get it wet. We're going to soak it in some water. Right after and this nice is soaked for a few minutes, we're going to bring it out. You'll notice it's gotten a lot softer. Now it will stretch over our form. Now our form has plastic wrap on it. And we're going to stretch this over the bottom of our bottle. And we're going to pull it pretty tight. You're going to look for wrinkles. And I've got a hair, another hair tie. Now this is one of those silicone ones. I like these for this step if you can get them or a regular rubber band will work too. Uh, the fabric covered hair ties don't work very well for this because they get, they will stick when we get to our glue stage. Now, we're going to pull out as many wrinkles as we can. And that's one of the nice things about this product. This, this canvas will stretch pretty well. And you'll be able to get, get it fairly smooth. And you want it smooth, you want it, your sides are going to be about three-fourths of an inch up. So we want to make sure that our hair tie is up at about three-fourths of an inch, the bottom of it. So I'm going to roll it up just a little bit more. There. All right, now that step is done. Now this just needs to sit off to the side and get all the way dry. In the meantime, I want you to take three strands of the, the weaving. I've got a mess. And I took them the whole length of the canvas I had left. And I tied a knot in the end. And I made a long braid. This braid needs to be long enough that we can make handles and a rim around the top. So you'll need to get that braided, and then when our canvas is dry, we'll come back and do the next step. All right, so this has dried. I actually, this is actually day two of this project. That, that's the thing, this project takes little bits of time spread over a period of time. So no one step takes very long, but it has to dry for a while. So this is, some people leave them at this point. And this would probably be stiff enough, but I like a little more stiffness to it. So I'm using a mixture. This is half glue and half water, just a regular Elmer's glue. Don't use a school glue. And I don't find tacky glue to be, you know, you don't need to spend the extra money for tacky glue. And then we're just going to paint this on. And this is why we've got plastic wrap underneath our canvas because that will help keep this from sticking to the bottle. And also, if you don't have plastic wrap on and you do this, 
sometimes the printing from the shampoo bottle or whatever you put it over can come off and stick to your project. Now, paint the bottom too. Now be sure and wash this brush out really well because this will wash out with soap and water while it's wet, but once it dries, it's not going to. Okay, make sure you have that evenly saturated and you want quite a coat. Now, the messy part. This piece that we braided, we've got this long piece. I'm going to dip it in here. Now I have a wet wipe. I have my wet wipe right here. Oh, and I, by the way, I lay that so that the uh, bottle is hanging off the table to dry. That way it air dries all the way around. I'm going to stick this down in. Most of it down in because I'm now going to dip that in down in. All right. Now. We're going to use our fingers and just kind of drag them across there. Now this needs to lay on our, ta on our tile. And uh, it's best if you can get it as straight as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Now that needs to set up. So I'm cleaning my fingers off. I'm going to go wash my paintbrush. I'm going to let this um, basket and the braided part dry. When they are thoroughly dry, I'll be back and we'll go on to the next step. All right, now this is, these are dry. This is plenty stiff, so this, this is ready to go. So we're going to set this to the side. But this, I want, I actually took it off and checked, and I want it to be stiffer than it is. So, I know, real exciting, right? We're going to do a second coat. Now, if you've got fabric stiffener, they sell fabric stiffener in the craft store. And feel free to use that. It works really well. But uh, the glue and water is really inexpensive and works just about as well. And I always have glue. That's one less container of stuff to have to bring home from the grocery store, or from the craft store, and uh, keep track of. So, a second coat. And this time you'll notice I really saturated. I really want this to be soaking with the glue. And all the way up to the rubber band, to the, the rubber band or the hair tie. We need to have a nice stiff edge. I want to get that, whatever that is, out of there. There. Now again, we'll let this dry. We'll wash out the paintbrush. And then after this one dries, I think we'll be ready to move on to our next step. All right, this has dried thoroughly. I've actually let the uh, second coat dry overnight. So now we're going to take it off of our form. And it's going to not want to come. This is why we put plastic on. There. So now, by putting the rubber band on, you can see we have a nice line that shows us where to cut. That's why I was careful to put that on nice and straight. Now I'm going to take the bottom of that line. And it's kind of hard to cut. Um, Because this is, this has gotten pretty stiff, but that's okay. Now the, the glue does a couple of things. It not only stiffens this, it also helps it so this isn't going to um, unravel as much as if you didn't have it. Okay, get it nice and smooth. Now we have a basket. So now I need to get some tacky glue. We have this. Remember our braid that we made? I'm going to cut the end off. And we're going to straighten this out. Now I'm going to take some regular tacky glue and I'm going to run a bead along the top. And I like to use tacky glue for this because it does hold a little bit better than regular Elmer's glue on this. We need something that's going to grip it. And now. now we are 
going to take our time we're going to run this around the top. I'm actually going to go on the side just a little bit, I think. I should have gotten clothespins. Let me pause this and let me go get some clothespins. All right. I had a whole bunch here, and then I picked them all up for my last project. And I picked them all up trying to clean my table off a little bit so I'd have room to work this week. Okay. That's going to work better because the glue is nice and sticky. The glue will hold this once it, you do have to convince it it wants to hold it though. I'm going to run a new bead of glue around the side since I've changed my mind from originally where I'm putting this. I'm going to put this around more as a rim than on the very top. Sometimes it cooperates and you can get it around the very top. Sometimes it doesn't. This is going to be one of those sometimes it doesn't days. That's okay. Okay. That's going to work better. All right. Clothes pins are a really important tool. If you don't have clothes pins, you really should go and buy some because they are great, inexpensive tools for clamping. I think I got, the, if I remember correctly, I got these at Dollar Tree. I buy a lot of them at Dollar Tree. So they're an inexpensive tool, too. Now, we want to be pretty careful to line this up when it's okay, overlapped just a tiny bit. So, all right. Clamp that. Now, this needs to dry. Now, don't lose this. We're going to need this yet because we need to put handles on this so mom can carry the baby in the basket. So, I'm going to add a few more clothespins, and I'm going to let this completely dry, and then I'll be back. All right, so this has had time to set up. It's not completely dry, but I think if I'm really careful, it won't come apart. Now we need to add some handles, so we're going to use some of this. Now if this was long enough, we could use one piece and wrap around the bottom like they would on a real basket but we don't have quite enough, so I will be making separate handles. Now, for this you'll need, obviously, your rest of your braid. You'll need a pencil, and you will need four clothespins and your tacky glue. So what we will do, and I'm going to eyeball about where the center is. I'm going to lay the pencil across. We're just using the pencil so that we get a fairly consistent handle. Um, so we're going to put this like this. So I'm going to put out some glue. And I'm actually just going to put it here on the corner of my tile. And I do have a wet wipe here, just in case I need it. Now I like to find the center, so that, and I'm going to kind of crimp it like that. Now, probably what I'll do is I'll do one handle on camera and then do the other handle off camera, because the second one is going to be a lot harder for me to get on where the camera can see it. And then I'll come back for a moment and show you when I get it on. Alright, so we're going to put this like this.
Come on. Stay there. And I want to take clips. I might be able to do both of them. We'll see if I can get them both on. Maybe I can. Now, find the center again. Since these are the same size, they'll come out pretty even. I'm dipping in enough that I've got glue down there. All right, now. There we go. I am going to be able to do it this way. All right, and then we'll clamp this. And we'll want this to dry. And when this is dry, we can just finish up the basket and we'll have a fun little baby gift for the people in your dollhouse. So let's let the glue dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so now let's take the pencil out. This glue isn't completely dry, but it's dry enough to just show you how this turned out. There is our little basket. Later, I might make a little pillow off camera, but you know, you can make make a pillow even out of just a couple of cotton balls and then put a little blankie in I have some felt some uh, flannel here that I use to make some little doll sized blankets and let's see let's put the baby in I think she looks mighty comfortable see how easy that project was um, I think you dollhouse people are going to really love this one. It's super simple to do. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy it. If you haven't found us on Facebook, please join us over there. We talk about lots of stuff. And until next time, enjoy your minis. I'll talk to you later. Bye.